February is Black History Month. Clark County and Clark County Television are proud to be producing programs and airing documentaries that showcase the contributions and achievements of prominent African Americans in our community. Hello, I'm Clark County Commissioner William McCarty II representing District D and welcome to the historic Westside Legacy Park. Commissioner William McCurdy hosted a lively televised panel discussion called The Legacy, The History, Black History Month 2022. The taping was held, appropriately, at the historic Westside Legacy Park. This new plaza is a community gathering spot and an outdoor museum with plaques that tell the stories of prominent West Las Vegas pioneers. Jackie Brantley was one of the people who helped select the distinguished enshrinees. So many of the people that are honorees of the Legacy Park, I knew them. And I thank God that I had the opportunity to know them up front and personal because they were, you could reach out and touch them in the community. People like H.P. Fitzgerald, people like Mabel Hogarth. But the need was there. Other guests there include Ramon Savoy, a radio host and former publisher of the Las Vegas Sentinel newspaper. Somebody's got to record it the way it is the way it was. Well, Brenda Williams is another local online. living legend. She was the first African American to work in a Nevada bank and a longtime aide to longtime U.S. Senator Richard Bryan. And the university was behind the project 100 percent. And Clay T. White is the director of oral history research at UNLV and she possesses an encyclopedic knowledge of the people, the places, and the history of West Las Vegas. Why do we call this the West Side? I know, but to our viewers, can you tell us why this is called the historic West Side? In the early 1930s, when they decided that people needed to move out of downtown, blacks and whites, you had to have some place to go. So the town started developing going east. White people moved east. And they said to the black people, you have to move out of downtown, you're gonna to move to the west side across the tracks. And if you don't move across the tracks, your businesses won't, won't, your business licenses will not be renewed. We had a lot of entrepreneurs. This program, The Legacy, The History, will be shown multiple times during Black History Month on Clark County Television. Visit the CCTV page at ClarkCountyNV.gov for broadcast dates and times. I was in the forefront of fighting the segregation in South Carolina and Atlanta. Then we came out here and I was shocked to see the, the condition of Las Vegas. Invisible Las Vegas Part 1 and 2 are superb films depicting the early days in our community. Clark County TV is proud to air many documentaries during Black History Month. Throughout February, viewers can tune in and see a series of remarkable movies that go in-depth as they explore the history of segregation in the Valley and issues facing West Las Vegas and the African-American community. You know, we were used to dealing with, you know, with the racism and the discrimination and the police, you know, were always there. The Rancho High School Riots retells the story of a tumultuous era from 1967 to 1973 when racial tension turned into violence at the North Las Vegas School. This movie and the rest will be shown many times during Black History Month. Check out ClarkCountyNV.gov for dates and times.